no warning at all. I'm just coming at you. It is, let's see, 20 after five my time. I usually come in at six o'clock on Sundays, but it's Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> you know what? There's things to do. I just came back. Look at my hair. It's just a wild mess. Came back from a barbecue in the park. Or not a barbecue, just a gathering. It was lovely to see faces I haven't seen in over a year. It was so great to see people and hang out with them and break bread and just hang. But boy, it was really a lot of people. It wasn't a ton of people, not like hundreds, but just, you know, there's a lot of energy around that. And I'm about to head off to a barbecue. So I wanted to come in in between time and share with you because it is Sunday. Even I, if I don't do it on my regular time, I wanted to come in and talk to you about the process of um, how we work with our clients. So as a coach, join me. I want to talk to you a little bit about how a different perspective on maybe working with a coach or uh, working as a coach, how you work with your clients. And uh, happy Memorial Day, everybody, wherever you are, if you're in the States at least. And uh, hi, Tom, nice to see you too. Just had a lovely day in the park with lots of people. Um, let's see. So this idea of working with um, clients, I was teaching a class today on uh, the 5D process, which is just a coaching a conversation model or a conversation model that can be used in coaching. And the reason I love it is that it comes from a place of creation, which is different than coming from a place of, I want to solve your problems. And I think we as coaches can often get into the muck with our clients around just solving problems. And I think there's a different approach we can take when we talk with our clients around what it is they want to create versus what they want to fix. If you're a coach and you've ever had one of those conversations where someone came to you and you're like, oh, they're like, I don't have anything to talk to you about today. I'm always like, great. In my head, I'm like, great. That's a fine place to come from. And I'll say, well, let's just have a conversation. Thank you. Uh, Tom is commenting on my red glasses here. And uh, when they come in, when they think they don't have anything to work on, I always invite them into a conversation then. And eventually what I will get to in that conversation is what is it they want to create in any one area of their life? Because coaching, from my perspective, is way more powerful when we come from a place of what people want to create, their dreams, the things they want to go over, the things they want to attain, the things they want to, you know, experience in their life versus the things they want to fix. You can probably hear me. And when I say that, there's even a different energy behind creation and fixing. Creating what you want versus fixing what's wrong. Not to say that we don't, can't, you know, work and spend time on that. I often do, especially when it comes to the mindset or the beliefs that people have when it go, comes to what they want to create. Because if I can get them to create a clear vision for what it is that they want to create. You know, the reason they haven't gotten that is because they have a lot of limiting stories, a lot of belief systems that aren't supporting that, probably some habits that aren't supporting what it is they want to do. And so that's where we can come in. But we're always approaching it from a place of creation, knowing what they want, where they want to go, what they want to create in their lives. And without that, it's hard to keep going when it gets difficult, when you don't have a really strong vision of who you want to become or what you want to experience, man, when time gets tough, it's hard to continue walking. So I just wanted to come in today on Memorial Day and share with you perhaps just a different perspective. As a coach, if you're a coach who's going to watch this, what can you shift in your own mindset that focuses instead of on what can I fix for you? Or how can I fix you? Like, that's never a great approach. But what we can create. What is it that you want to help create? As opposed to what do you want to fix? It's Memorial Day weekend. This is going to be fast and furious because 
I've got some more people to go see. What an exciting weekend. I hope you are having a wonderful time wherever you are. Tom, thanks for popping in. Thanks for the comments on my glasses. I hope you have a great weekend. And for anyone else who watches this later, keep your focus on what to create versus what to fix. Bye, everybody. <laughs>